What is this story? This is Kieran here with another spearhead tutorial. Today's one's gonna be nice and easy. Uh, I'm gonna make a really cool kind of trap metalcore style like CD cover artwork design, mainly just using assets and a sweet photo of myself that my girlfriend Sophia took. Um, this is gonna be pretty easy. I just want, want to kind of demonstrate how like, even if you can't draw and stuff, you can make some really cool designs. Like you can uh, just like photo bash a load of assets together, uh, assets that you can buy or assets that you can make yourself. In this case, I'm using my assets that I made in my previous tutorial, which I'll link there in the top left. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of um, nice, quick, easy, fun, kind of let the hair down and just kind of like play around. So this is just gonna be me experimenting quite a bit. So uh, without further ado, let's jump right in. So I'm gonna open Photoshop and I'm gonna make a 4000 by 4000 artboard at 300 dpi and I'm getting my plastic texture thrown out as the background, my CD jewel case here which is uh, nice and textured and cracked and kind of shiny. Then the CD itself obviously, we're gonna build this up in the same way that like a, a CD case would be holding the CD. Now here's the photo that Sophia took of me, basically what I'm doing is I'm going into um, my image and then into adjustment, going into curves. And basically what curves are is like you're adjusting the RGB within the image. Um, so like the upper right area on this graph is going to be the highlights and the lower left is the shadows. So when you like bend that uh, bar within the graph, you're essentially like making the, the lights dark or the darks light. And uh, when you've got a full swathe of RGB color, you can get some really funky looking things as you can see here. So nothing too stressful. I'm just farting around here, kind of seeing like what looks good by my eye. So that's looking pretty cool. Now I'm just gonna like go in and play with my hue shifter and just kind of see like what looks good with my saturation and lightness as well. And I thought this pink was looking kind of funky. So I made another little trick here. I duplicated my background layer. Then I went into the bottom of your layers panel there. You've got your FX. Click FX, go into blending options, and then I click off green. And then I, I just with my, um, I just nudged the top layer a little bit to the left and it gives that VCR kind of like 3D kind of highlighted effect. Merge them together and then again go back into my shifter and play with my hue and I've got this nice kind of purpley kind of magenta kind of looking um, thing going on and I was really happy with that so. So now I'm taking out this CD texture, it's really kind of cool, you can see the imprint of the disc. So I'm throwing this over my square artwork panel or layer I should say and then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to invert it and then I'm gonna play with multiply and then whack my le levels down so I really bring out the darkness. So you can see the uh, the shape of the disc and the texture of the paper kind of coming through in the, uh, the um, photo. Now I'm taking out my rips here, like paper rips. Um, I'm gonna like leave a few of these assets in the uh, description as usual. So uh, give us an L like and subscribe to, uh, to get some cool free stuff. So yeah, what I wanna do is kind of make it look like the, the artwork like photo is ripped so i'm putting this like ripped layer over it and i'm um, just rubbing out the uh the artwork beneath that and then i'm gonna like feather it in later but i realized i jumped too far ahead here so i'm gonna go back and uh, actually put the artwork on the cd like you know like albums cd albums some of you might be too young to have ever really gone out and bought some cds but basically what i'm gonna do is put the artwork also on the cd so i'm going in and i'm using overlay and uh just kind of like playing around with it and i want it to kind of look like it's like printed properly on to the disc so a lot of those discs would have a uh, halftone artwork so i'm going into a uh, filter into pixelate into color halftone and then i'm putting all my channels down to 45 so they're not kind of like overlapping with each other and you get that real cool kind of like effect you can see here now that i'm kind of like rubbing out the uh, the paper layer uh, i do make a mistake here in my haste and i don't think i notice it until near the end so yeah you should always be kind of like double checking like yeah uh, different things as you go to make sure I've actually left like yeah I've left like a hole with my soft eraser through the paper there but I'll fix it like later on but yeah it's not ideal so now yeah I'm just kind of spinning the disc around to kind of see what looks cool but I opt to kind of like have it uh, in the same orientation as the artwork so now I'm cleaning up my layers here just so I kind of know what's going on you've probably realized I work chaotically but uh it's always good to kind of like you know just regroup and kind of see where you are now I'm going in and what I want to do is put some uh, cool sticker on it. So another one of my spearhead assets is this sticker and what I've done is I've actually just selected the the text on it there and uh, 
pressed uh, shift F5 and then content where and that will kind of like use like a little AI script to just automatically fill in um, what it sees as the, the bulk of that layer if you get me. So sometimes content where will work and sometimes it's like nightmarish and um, so just use it sparingly. Now I'm just kind of throwing in another uh, barcode from one of my other assets, spearhead assets. Uh, oh, I, I should say I'm going to leave that sticker in the uh, the assets folder for you as well so feel free to use that for all of your uh, designs. And now I'm firing in the classic parental advisory uh, explicit content, you know, everyone knows what that is. Um, so what I've done is like I just like selected my artwork layer and then selected the uh, inverse of it, then clicked my parental advisory layer again and then deleted it. Now I'm duplicating my CD cover layer and bringing it to the top and then I'm using Lighten as my blend mode to uh, to make it seem like you know the, the plastic is above the artwork and um, like it would be in real life you know you'd slip the, the booklet within the, the jewel case. And it looks kind of cool, just make sure you've got your sticker on top of the plastic though, because uh, the sticker most 9 out of 10 times is going to be on the actual uh, the case itself and not the uh, artwork. Here I'm just playing with some shapes and stuff, um, I've left this in, usually I'd kind of like trim out my um, mistakes and stuff, but sure, this time I just figured I'd show you my like chaotic workflow. And I think I made this in uh, probably an hour, just as, an, as a demonstration to kind of, you know, show how, how easy this process is and how fun it can be as well and um, because you know when you're when you're not like locked down really um to any like strict brief you can like really kind of like just go a bit mad and, and make some cool stuff so here in the um the spine i'm just putting in master shadowcraft um in euro style i can't give you that but as i said i will put my font the storm in the assets tutorial or the assets folder in the description so uh, you can grab that too uh, it's quite similar it's like a nice sans serif um, extended it's like super bold extended font but it's quite gritty so some people might prefer that to your style itself in this case I've just used euro style and uh, I've gone into my color color halftone again all my uh, channels are 45 you know just so there's no overlapping cells but it gives it a nice kind of like old school kind of look so I've got rid of those like triangles I felt I didn't really need them um, and now I'm kind of happy with the layout here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my gradient panel and I'm gonna select the artwork and spine um, layers and make a new layer and with that selection I'm gonna fill it with that gradient that nice iridescent gradient in, uh, in Photoshop CC I think they have a lot of these um, gradients like presets already built in um, so yeah, just like check it, check that out in your gradient panel, and I'm sure you'll find some cool colorways. Again, I just like messed around with my hue and saturation, and uh, I think I just put screen as my overlay, so it's just kind of like covering the nice white um, details that I had in the artwork layer. I did the same thing here in my background that I did previously. You know, the kind of VCR 3D sort of effect. I duplicated my layer, went into FX blending options, and then turned off the green, and then nudged the layer on top to give it that kind of like. Uh, chromatic aberration for lack, for lack of a better term really and here here this is where I've noticed my mistake so what I've gone in and done is I've like duplicated my um, paper texture layer multiple times and I've used the soft light overlay um, and then I've, I've actually duplicated that three times uh, and then gone in to each individual um, overlay layer overlay and uh, just brushed them out with a soft brush so I'm kind of like filling that gap of the, the paper from the mistake that I made, it, there was like a little bit of like transparency. So I've just gone in and like made sure that that's like, I've plugged all the holes there. Again, that is not like a, a good habit or a good thing that I that I should be kind of teaching people, but you know what I mean? It's a, uh, I said I show just kind of the full process here. Now I've taken one of my plastic um, textures and I'm using like screen as my uh, blend mode. And yeah, it kind of gives the effect that like, you know, that these old, CDs would have been uh, oh god I feel mad saying old CDs Jesus but uh, CDs when you went into shops like HMV and all you know they would they would be kind of like vacuum packed in like a plastic wrap and that's what we're trying to kind of you know nod to here and it looks really cool it looks really really cool it's, it's very in right now you can do this with posters and, and all sorts and um, then I just yeah I just darkened my background 
and uh, just to kind of let the artwork itself pop and then all I'm really doing here is now just going back and forth and kind of like playing around with my hue and um, just seeing what looks cool. I think the only thing I did then um, that I didn't record was use my like um, warning tape just to kind of like seal the case. So yeah, as you can see that was like a really easy, quick and fun little process. Um, it is nice to kind of just, uh, as I said, make artwork like this that isn't, you know, very kind of tied down and like fiddly, you know, drawing small bits and bobs and all like um, working with assets and photo bashing is a very like fun thing. Like as uh, as I said, I did this in maybe about an hour and um, yeah, I made a few mistakes in my haste, but I did this on my laptop, uh, just on the couch after work and uh, you know, it's, it's nice and fun and easy and you get like a really like sick looking artwork out of it. So yeah, if you found this uh, helpful, please just give me an L like and subscribe. Uh, don't forget the free assets in the folder down below. This was just a quick one, but again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to give me a shout. I'll only be too happy to try clear anything up, which is, and uh, yeah, get at me on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. And uh, yeah, thanks again for the support. Hopefully get a new tutorial, a bit more in depth than this up by next week. Take care.